This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this H2. This is a 2003 H2. It's on a clear title. It was a theft recovery uh, purchased directly from an insurance company. And it's very unique in its mileage. It has just almost 11,000 miles. Um, Carfax verifies that. The car's condition absolutely verifies it. Um, came from El Paso. Uh, which tells me a lot. Uh, this thing probably was stolen, taken over to Juarez. Uh, someone with lots of illicit money uh, had this thing, and they probably have 50 cars and rarely drove this one. That's my conjecture. Um, also, uh, on we having investigated past freakishly low vehicles, uh, these tend to be vehicles the cops hold in their impound yard for a long time. Uh, while people go to trial um, and then they go to insurance yards for a long time and they sit for a long time um, and that, that would probably be the case in this one too. Uh, indicators of, of someone who has a lot of money are all over the place here uh, who, who, who stole this car and did it. These wheels were professionally painted. These were the original wheels and we thought well that must be black spray paint. No, that is professionally painted wheels. That's pricey. It also has a beautiful set of uh, BFG uh, all-terrains around it. They're probably 80% tread. Uh, they also customized the seats, the seat inserts that you're sitting on that part, to uh, cloth with matching uh, arm uh, rest uh, door panel cloth, which means he didn't like his butt to sweat. <laughs> There's little, I mean, we're looking for like Really minor stuff here. I saw a little bird poop damage here. There's one right there. Um, yeah, yeah, finding the problems here is very, very hard to do. Uh, I does have a cracked windshield right here. I have the windshield cop shop coming in about an hour, but uh, believe it or not, when it's sunny like this and it's as humid as it is right now, we're gonna get rain. Uh, a lot of rain today. Not a cloud in the sky and it's uh, almost 10 in the morning. We'll be getting poured on in about three or four hours. So I want to get this done and I can't trust the windshield guys to be here in time. But it will have a new windshield. And that's that in the detail is all that this thing had wrong. Very minor like that, that hood hoop stain which really you gotta look for what else do you need to know you put the little covers on the uh, on the tail lights and they're not knockoffs you bought them for the Hummer I'm trying to think about what we need to know here there's the Bravo El Paso Texas little thing this is where it came from ah oh, I was hoping I'd find those there are your Hummer, really nice Hummer uh, floor mats. Uh, it does not have a third seat and it does not have a spare. Um, that's very common to not have a third seat. Everyone leaves them in their garage. Does have the little uh, inflator set up to do tires with. Um, you got look at the look at the carpet back here. It's unbelievable. This is sweet rig. Put the camera up here so you can see the roof. Nothing really to see on this thing. We just sold a yellow one to a guy who uh, drove it home to Alaska. We're selling a lot to Alaska lately. It actually, a twin to this. It was an 05 with 39,000 miles, and this one kills it. I mean, and which is hard to do because that was a beautiful car. The only thing this one doesn't have that that one had was nav. Other than that, it's the same rig with a lot less miles. Let me uh, fire this thing up and I'll open the hood so you can hear it run under the hood. Very 
very slow. There we go. All right. This thing is in the wrapper. Unbelievable. This thing, we did put a new battery in it. Much to report there. Let me go to the other side. Lock this down. That. And we will make sure that everything's working here. This is the uh, passenger rear window. See how they did the, the seat inserts? I mean, this, and it's not cheap material they did this with. Really nice back. I love that, especially in Arizona. And then they did a nice matching. I mean, the work is unbelievable. Perfect. <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm wondering if uh, our buyer in, uh, you know what? It wasn't last, it was Idaho, is where he was from. down here and loved it. Wow. Very, very impressive. You know, it's my job to throw these things under the bus so that they get somewhere and you get more than you thought you were going to get. I'm not supposed to have glowing reviews, but uh, yikes. Let's see if we... Oh, there's the lumbar working. See if the whole seat goes up. Yep. Up. Down. Wow. <laughs> Here's all your manuals. H2 manuals, reference guides. Holy cow. In a, this, in a theft recovery, to just be missing the third seat and a spare is tantamount to miracle. Which tells me that they probably took it away from a bad guy who stole it and they call it a, a theft recovery. It's more like they recovered a car that was stolen a long time ago and written off. And it just sat in some kingpin's front yard in Juarez across the border from El Paso forever. It was probably his least favorite car. It's his staple. Got it. There you go. What's that? Doors work. Let's do the mirrors. Out, in, up, down, other side. And boy, you know when they're when they're the miles are correct, and all these motors just work fast. Really fast. Forward, back, pull seat up. Whole seat down. It was already way, all the way up already. Now whole seat up. Seat back. Let's make sure the lumbar works. That's working. I got the mats in the back. Which I should have checked before I even started this video to make sure they were on it. Tilt wheel works. And the air is blowing like. 20 below in here and it's great because it's really yucky outside. Very humid, very hot. Wow, let's show people that he was cheating that? too let's because see. it makes it look nice. No. You know, well, let's shoot the station. <laughs> Alright, so the stereo works, radio controls work. Let me turn the air down there. great. We got OnStar here. The antennas and the XM are up on the roof, so they work. Um, there's your cluster. 10,971 miles. Cruise. Air's blowing cold. Let's uh, 
do the four wheel thing. I'm gonna put it in neutral, put it into four low. It's engaged, put it into drive. Definitely four low. Unmistakably four low. And reverse. Perfect. And four high. Well, and drive. Yeah, we can drive. We can drive at speed and four high. Perfect. And reverse. Okay, neutral, back there, there we go. Okay, let's go for a ride. Let me turn the air up a little bit, because I like it a lot. See the temperature there? 101, yikes. All, not even 10 o'clock in the morning. See all the humidity out there? That is uh, from uh, rain last night that we got. Ugh, this is nasty out here. Okay, um, this is on a clear title, so there's no need to get any inspections done. This is uh, going to be sold on a clear title. And, uh, oh, boy, uh, if you come to Tucson to drive it home, it'd be a hell of a nice ride home. Uh, you're going to pay dock fees of $250. You're going to pay taxes of 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If you're lucky enough to be from Oregon or Alaska or a couple other places uh, that have 0% state tax rate, then you uh, are only going to pay 2% tax and $250 dock fee and drive home. You'll have a 90-day non-resident plate put on the vehicle and you'll drive it home and you'll leave with the title in your hand. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is the agreed upon price, no tax, no dock fees. Um, once we receive full payment, we'll mail the title. You'll have your own web page for the vehicle. Uh, you'll get to see the insurance title that we purchased a, the, from. You'll have the copy of that front and back, um, color copy of that front and back. You'll also have your title uh, front and back notarized to you, including the envelope that we mail it to you in, uh, and it'll arrive in the mail, and then it'll ship out. Fred uh, at uh, Beacon Shipping Logistics is a great guy. Uh, he is a guy we recommend you call. His number is in the middle of our ad. Give him a call, get a quote. He will not be the lowest bid. The lowest bid means vehicles will sit here forever. Uh, U-Ship is a scam. <laughs> U-Ship, they just tie your car up forever, uh, take a deposit, and you'll be waiting for months before your car moves. Um, so Fred tends to be right in the middle of the prices, low to high. But Fred communicates, tells you what's going on when these you know, shippers decide to bail on him at the last second, he'll call you and say, guess what? Idiot didn't show up. Uh, and he bailed on us, so now we gotta get a new shipper. Uh, a lot of brokers will not do that. They're just like, oh crap, let's just lie to him. All right, that's what they do. That's why we like Fred, he's a really good guy. Let me, uh, I'm gonna go from zero here and you can watch it shift. This thing is so nice. This might be my weekend car. Hummers, H2s, I'm sure people who know H2s know that they rattle like crazy. This one doesn't, probably because of the miles, and because somebody really took care of it. Anyway, please make sure you get a deposit, and once we have a deposit, we'll put your name and a banner over, our, over the vehicle on our website. Until then, it's for sale. We will sell it to the first person who gives us a deposit and or full payment. We will not hold vehicles based on uh, uh, an accepted bid. Also, um, even though it pretty much is brand new, to the eBay people, it's not a brand new vehicle. Um, so please read the ad, watch the pictures, don't be a crazy person. They sell brand new stuff at the auto mall with, you know, warranties and the whole bit, you know, factory warranties. If you're crazy, please do not bid on this. However, feel pretty safe to say that of all the cars we've owned in a long time, this is one that I would go way out on a limb on and say, nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm gonna park it back here and we're just gonna get a windshield and that's it. Thank you for your time.